everybody's friend It's Tyler It's your only black friend Because your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He's mopping Richard Pryor So just sit and stare It's everybody's friend It's Tyler It's everybody's friend It's Tyler Hey guys, Sally here. Normally when I watch movies, I try to turn off my brain as soon as possible. Largely because movies and logic do not go to hand in hand together at all. As a matter of fact, when you watch a movie, the main purpose of it is to transport you into a different world and a different kind of dimension where things are not meant to be the same thing like this current reality that we're living in. And so naturally, of course, when I see stuff like King Kong versus Godzilla, I don't necessarily think, you know, realism because obviously it's about two giant monsters that are kicking the living shit out of each other. And so when I saw this whole entire article about scientists trying to psychoanalyze King Kong versus Godzilla, I had to respond to it because obviously this is too good to, you know, pass out for this whole entire article. Godzilla vs. Kong, neither monsters will beat physics. Before I respond to the article, I first want to state, of course, that I noticed this sort of cycle analyzing of movies for, like, this type of stuff. I actually started with people like Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now, don't get me wrong, I do respect this guy as a scientist, but every single time he, like, cycle analyzed movies, he come across as very smug because of how inaccurate something is like, you know, unscientific. But that's like literally the point of these type of movies that are not meant to be realistic. Sure, you could probably criticize like the science and movies and whereas the movies actually claim to be scientific li literary or something like that. Or have some sort of scientific guy that helped them out during the production of the whole entire shooting. But by and large though, I don't think fun movies like Godzilla vs. King Kong is meant to be psychoanalyzed. The whole purpose, the whole point of watching this type of movie is to see two giant monsters duke it out. There's nothing meant to be logical about this movie. That's the whole entire point. And by psychoanalyzing something like King Kong vs. Godzilla, you guys come across as no fun at all. But uh, let's start the article. The latest Hollywood blockbuster asked who will win if Godzilla battled King Kong, to which scientists say neither. Both will be instantly vanquished by the laws of physics. Kong has been growing, and King Kong, directed by Peter Jackson in 2005, the ape was 20 feet 8 meters tall, and Kong Skull Island released in 2017, he has grown to about 100 feet, and Godzilla vs. Kong, released this week, he appears closer to 400 feet, and of course right here we have a graph of like how big King Kong is. First and foremost, it's very stupid to necessarily lump the King Kong from Peter Jackson to the MonsterVerse, because Peter Jackson's King Kong and the one for the MonsterVerse are totally different sort of, you know, series. So it's not necessarily fair to compare the two. And so, when I see these sort of movies, I don't necessarily expect realism. I don't necessarily expect anything remotely, you know, something that's actually part of this world. Well, I do expect, when I watch monster movies, and not just Godzilla, but also like Gamera and these other monster movies, is to, you know, focus on the fun aspect. Mostly because when people watch these movies, particularly the versus movies, they don't necessarily expect some sort of, you know, deep philosophical story. True, there are some deep philosophical stories that are like in the Godzilla movies franchise, like, you know, Godzilla's Singular Points, or the 1954 movie, or even maybe like Shin Godzilla. Those are pretty philosophical, pretty interesting concepts in those movies. But by and large though, when you watch a versus movie, it's not meant to be logical or whatever. It's meant to be fun, meant to be exciting, and meant to be blockbusters. So, it follows that the energetic battles imagined by Hollywood cannot happen. 
I'm not sure what Godzilla and King Kong do, but I'm pretty sure that there are some fairly vigorous activity going on that simply wouldn't have not been possible at size. For the scientists who decline to suspend their belief, Kong's greatest foe isn't Godzilla, it's biomechanics. Put it in this way, if he were to inflate a gorilla and increase his size, while well, he couldn't say the same shape, said Professor Richard Dawkins, the evolutionary biologist. <laughs> oh, they asking freaking Richard Dawkins for his own personal input on this movie. Oh my god, really guys? Really? You have to freaking bother Richard Dawkins over this nonsense too. Really? Again, to prove my point yet again, this whole entire movie is not meant to be taken literally. It's all about having fun. Do scientists not have fun during their free time? Because this whole entire thing, it just comes off as very smug. Very, very smug. To the point where I don't understand how people who watch these movies actually expect any more than illogical stuff. When people come in this theater, watch King Kong, a giant ape versus Godzilla, what they expect is this sort of illogical fight scenes. That's what they came for. That's why people waited like over like what 60 plus years to see the new fight because the last fight was like in 1962. And so it's not meant to be taken seriously. It's not meant to be deep or serious. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be enjoyed with your friends. I'm sorry, but you guys totally missed the point of the MonsterVerse. So, what can I possibly conclude from all of this? Number one, like a lot of these scientists who watch and psychoanalyze these movies are smug as shit and don't know fun and want to drain any type of fun out of a movie by just psychoanalyzing the movie. And two, they don't necessarily understand that this movie is not meant to, of course, be super realistic, but... Again, when I watch a Godzilla movie, I don't expect realism. I'm talking about a giant freaking dinosaur that got mutated by the atomic bomb. I'm sorry, I'm not meant to take any of these sort of versus movies seriously. And this is coming from a Godzilla fan myself. Sure, there are some movies that are meant to be taken seriously than others, just like there are fun movies that are meant to be more fun than others. That is true. There are like a lot of shapes of grace for the franchise. I understand that. But at the same time, though, the bulk of the versus movies have a purpose. It's basically meant to be popcorn movies to enjoy seeing the monsters fight each other. That's why it has verses to, you know, indicate what kind of movie it's meant to be. But anyway, I digress. What do you guys think? Are the scientists super smug? Please tell me in the comments section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.